procedure to fill fill a period with solution P pipette 25 centimeters cube of solution R into a conical flask and titrate with solution P and titrate the solution P against the solution R until a permanent pink color just appears. Record your results in table 2 below and repeat the procedure to fill the table. So I want to give us the, the value. Let us use 12.9. Our initial is 0, 0.0. That's 12.9. Our initial is 0 0.0, 12.8, and here it is 12.8, 0 0, 12.9, 12.7, So determine the average of P used, average of P used, so you get the average 12.9 plus 12.8 plus 12.7 divided by 3 you get 12.8 centimeters cube and that is the average calculate the concentration of solution R in moles per liter moles per liter means morality morality is the number of moles in one liter therefore when you ask it to calculate the concentration of a solution in moles per liter they are simply asking you to calculate morality and i have always given you this formula on how to calculate morality how do you get morality morality that is mass in grams per liter RFM. So if you have RFM, you have mass in grams per liter, you can calculate morality simply. So let us go back to what we are provided with and check what was the information provided for R. R that R was made or prepared by dissolving 4.9 grams in 250. So the solution is 250, meaning that this is not one liter. So we must now calculate the mass in grams per liter, right? So we are going to say 4.9 is in 250. What about 1,000? Now we will get mass in grams per liter in order to use the formula I have given. So let us get mass in grams per liter. We are going to say 34.9 grams are in 250 centimeters cube. For me to get grams in one liter, I will ask 1,000 centimeters cube would contain what mass 1000 times 4.9 divided by 250 will give me 19 will give us 19.6 grams per liter now we have this the next thing that we should have is the rfm of r r is the iron 2 sulfate remember r is this salt NH four two S four dot F E S four dot six waters. So the formula already is, is provided here. Remember R is here. This is R and this is the salt. Ammonium ion two sulfate. So this is what I've just copied. So we have iron is 56, sulfur is 32, oxygen is 16. So you only need to, re, to substitute the numbers inside here and you will find that the RFM of this salt is equal to 392. That is the RFM. Now from the formula, we know that morality equal to mass in grams per liter divided by uh, divided by RFM that is morality is equal to you all this one constant mass in grams per liter over RFM and this one is 19.6 divided by 392 and this one gives us 0 0.05 capital M capital M standing for morality
Now we have the moral of R. Let us go to find the number of moles of solution R used. How much? What was the volume of R used? You go back to the procedure. Fill the puree with solution P. Pipette 25 of solution R. So we have used 25 centimeters cube of solution what? R. But now we know the number of moles in 1000, in 1 liter. This morality is the number of moles in a, li in a liter. So we have that 1000 centimeters cube of solution R as this mole 0 0.05 moles. The volume used R used is 25, so we will ask 25 centimeters cube of solution R used will contain how many moles? Now that one is 25 times 0 0.05, you divide it by 1000, and this one gives us 0 0.00125 moles, right? Next question. Given the ionic equation for this reaction, this reaction will always be given the ionic equation, so you don't need to worry about that. You will always be given the ionic equation. You will always be given the ionic equation. So we have been given the ionic equation of the reaction that took place. But remember, what is R? R was the ammonium ion 2 surface. So this one represents R. This one represents P. What was the volume of this used? 25. What was the volume of this used? 12.8. It's important to note that. Now we have the number of moles of the ion R. We have the number of moles of the ion. We find the number of moles of solution P, which is this. Number of moles of solution P, we are going to use the relationship of the mole ratio. Here, the ion is 5, and this is so. If I use R to P, R is 5. And P is 1, the ratio is 5 to 1. But we have the number of moles of R, which is 0 0.00125. This number of moles, this number of moles of R. So we will ask if 5 is equal to this, what about 1? If 5 equal to 0 0.00125, 1 will contain what? So that is 1 times 0 0.00125 divided by 5 and this one will give us the number of moles of p 0 0.0025 moles so this is the number of moles in p the volume that was used what was the volume of p you go back determine the average volume of p and that is 12.8 centimeters cube that is the volume of p Determine the concentration of potassium manganate 7 solution P in moles per liter. Concentration in moles per liter. Kindly, always remember, when you are asked concentration in moles per liter, simply that one is morality. Always remember that. So we want to calculate morality. And remember, what is morality? Moles in a thousand centimeters cube a thousand centimeters cube equal to one liter per liter right but from the previous we have the number of moles of p we have the number of moles of p in the volume that was used 12.8 centimeters cube so these moles are in 12.8 centimeters cube so we will ask a thousand which is one liter will contain how mine how many moles so we know that 12.8 centimeters cube of solution p contains 0 0.0 0 0 0 0 to 5 moles because moles morality is in a thousand we will ask what about a thousand centimeters cube solution p will contain how many moles right so this one will give us a thousand times 0 0.0025 you divide it by 12.8 and this one will give us 0 0.01953 
capital M and that is the morality of solution P. Qualitative analysis, that has, I want to give you observation and inferences very quickly. You are provided with solution P, carry out the test below and record your observations and inferences in the table below. Place a half of a spatula full of solid P in a clean dry test tube and heat gently then strongly. What will be observed? A colorless gas condenses on the cooler parts of the test tube forming a cara less solution or liquid colorless liquid a colorless liquid so a colorless gas is con con is produced which condense and form a liquid so if it forms a liquid it tells you that that salt b contains water of crystallization so you can simply say that b uh, it is hydrated hydrated salt present or you can say that b contains water that is or you can use this or this b contains water of crystallization crystallization contains water of crystal the remaining place the remaining P in a pouring in a pouring tube add five centimeters of this water shake divide the solution into four portions to the first portion so divide the solution into four portions now here this one is supposed to tell us whether the solid was soluble in water or not the solid dissolves in water in distilled water forming a color a colorless solution so it simply it means that solid B B is a soluble salt that's what it means in simple terms in some more complicated terms you can say because this solution is a colorless solution it means the colored ions are not there and what are the colored ions it means that copper 2 which is blue it means copper ion 2 which is green and ion 3 which is brown are absent so these ones are absent if you don't understand this use this one that if it is also form a color solution it means the salt is soluble you say a soluble salt present to the first portion add sodium hydroxide dropwise until in excess sodium hydroxide dropwise until in excess uh, white PPT is formed. A white PPT is formed, which dissolve in excess, forming a color, a colorless solution. I want to remind you here that we need to make observation first when you put two drops a white precipitate is formed and then tell us what happens when you put the sodium hydroxide in excess did the white precipitate dissolve to form a colorless solution or it did not so if it dissolved to form a colorless solution and you are adding sodium hydroxide then it means this is present what is that zap sub stands for zinc ions aluminium ions and lead ions remember these are amphoteric uh, 
they form amphoteric oxides or they con we call them amphoteric ions right so it means that the zinc aluminium lead are present to the second portion add two drops of dilute sulfuric acid <laughs> if we are adding sulfuric acid remember sulfuric acid is this it contains the sulfate inside so if we are adding the sulfate let us see the observation a white ppt is formed or no white ppt is formed what if a white ppt is formed if a white ppt is formed it means inside there could be barium two ions calcium two ions and lead if a white ppt is formed right if no white ppt is formed it means none of them is present right none of them is present so let me give the observation the observation here is no white ppt is formed we are adding sulfuric acid which forms a white precipitate with barium calcium and this one so we are supposed to write barium two positive calcium two positive and lead two positive absent absent right but in our previous we didn't have any of these ions yes of those they are absent and that is correct so they are not there right but what is was there here we said that red is present but here we have confirmed it is absent absent this one is correct you can write all of them and write all of them are what absent it is accepted but we don't want suppose this one are absent then what could be present lead is not present it's absent it means that the zinc two ions aluminium three ions are pre present I want to discourage giving absent uh, negative answers because they usually sometimes uh, are devised to reject uh, reject negative answers. Therefore, let us write what is it there. If these are not there and we had three of them, this one is absent, it means these and these are present. Thank you. To the third portion, add ammonia solution. Ammonia solution is usually written ammonia hydroxide. So this is what you will find written in that small cathode bottle. So observation is at white PPT is formed, which is soluble in excess in excess so it forms a white precipitate drops when you add in excess it dissolves to form a colorless solution therefore it means zinc ions are present it means zinc ions are present to the fourth portion to the fourth portion add two to three drops of barium nitrate solution so we are adding barium barium forms barium forms white precipitate with sulfate carbonate and sulfite so what was white ppt is formed so if a white ppt is formed it means the sulfate the sulfite and the carbonate are present right 